A man accused of killing three men execution style inside a home on Lewis Street last February is guilty. A jury reached that verdict tonight in the retrial of Artavius Richards. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now with reaction from the prosecutor and a victim's father. Heather and Brett, it's been an emotional week for Adam Mecki's father. This is the second time he's had to sit through the trial of the man accused of killing his son. After a hung jury last time, he wasn't so sure what the outcome would be this time. Guilty on all charges. The words Adam Mecki's father has been waiting to hear for almost a year now. I know my son was gone, but I'm so happy about the guests right yeah. now. 19-year-old Artavius Richards is one of two men charged in the brutal killing last February. Mohammed Taha Omar, Adam Mecki, and Muhane Tehrab shot to death execution style inside a home on Lewis Street. Richards went to trial last November, but it resulted in a hung jury. It was so difficult, yes, sir. Uh, but you have to be patient. Ten jurors believed Richards was innocent. Two others believed he was guilty. But prosecutor Steve Godfrey says they had no choice but to ask for a retrial. It's a triple homicide. You can't walk away from that. Godfrey and his team went back to the drawing board, introducing new evidence like a jailhouse phone call and cell phone records. Sort of regrouped retooled how we were going to try it this time along. This time, after a four-day trial and less than three hours of deliberation, guilty. Words can't express how happy we are, really. It's crazy. Godfrey says he's especially thankful for those two jurors. Hey, the two jurors out there last time that hung out for us, held out for the state of Indiana, thank you. You're the reason why he's going to jail for the rest of his life now. Richards faces up to 65 years for each murder. A sentencing hearing will be held early next month. And at the end of March, Daryl McDaniel is expected to go on trial for his role in the triple homicide. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.